Them say that my egun, that man too they talk. It too they talk. Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day, then they tip money in buck. Come on. One man picking, they the street they hawk. Still them talk, say, make we no talk. But thank God, say, my egun don't come. So my people make you love the oh, yo yo. My egun don't come, oh yo yo. Good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. It is Mayegun live. Thank you so much for joining me as usual. Just let's do the normal, uh, you know, routine. Like the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Take your time. Read the caption as well so that you too can contribute. Mm -hmm. Share the broadcast. <laughs> That is what Yoruba will call it. Arameri, Iri, as tensed as this year, 2023 charade called election is. It doesn't seem to bother Tifnumbu, APC, INEC, even Shitty Man, as they have shown so far. Baba, eh? Except court safe call you, eh? It will be the first interim president, Fidi here president in Nigeria history, except court save him. Share this. <laughs> Wait, of Kolu is in the arms of these uh, five judges. Yeah? The fate of Kolu is in their hands. Now, just like your fate on whether your election will count or not, depended or rested solely on the fraudulent INEC. So, after seeing all the evidence from all sides against this charade, the decision whether this evidence are going to be tenable acceptable and used rested solely on this five again <laughs> Thank you. So once again, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. Yes, it is Mayegun, and this is live if you are watching it uh, exactly at the prime time in the evening. Ladies and gentlemen who has been so much interested, especially since uh, the uh, INEC and their fraudulent uh, 
proposed charade called election. The one that some of us have quite ruled out, sort of, it's a waste of time. Eh? The charade of 2023. Well, it has all come to one thing now, and that is the court. Ladies and gentlemen, eh? the charade of conducting the best election, whatever election they promised you, for some of us, we knew how it was going to end. It is playing out, okay? There are millions of people who have the right to choose their own leaders have been shortchanged and twisted and compromised enough that the man they didn't elect is the president of Nigeria today. Again, the argument on uh, the conduct, whether they follow the law or not, a lot of us have been following where this is going to end. So, ladies and gentlemen, you can call this uh, the Temple of Truth version of the state of things when it comes to their court case. Put it that way. That's the best I could make of it, right? Because I am going to speak to you directly on things that happened there. And you and I, we we'll begin to kind of go on the same journey to have an idea that except something happen, hey, just like some people felt like except something happen, APC, PDP, they will be defeated. Omo, wait a how were you so sure? This never happened before. Start a political party, a movement in 10 months and give the the major political parties, the major criminal groups in Nigeria, they run for their money. It never happened before. But some of you were so confident, like, if it's free and fair, eh, they will be defeated. Of course, there are reasons why, number one, APC should not even, like, be running. Anybody in APC should not be running for political office again in Nigeria. In a working place, eh, by now, APC, Egbeke -Egbe would have been banned. Anybody associated with APC, Egbeke -Egbe, all over Nigeria. They will be banned from joining politics for another maybe 50 years. Seriously, because of the damages that they have done, right? But unfortunately, eh, the same APC, Egbe Kegbe, decided to arm um, twist the country of uh, 200 million people only for you to have uh, the worst of the worst election ever. Anyway, it came down to INEC failed. Maybe the court will see reason, Abi. Come and prove, because you know what happened there? Eh? Indeed, if the election was free and fair, which is a tall dream in Nigeria, forget the free and fair election. If it was indeed free and fair, eh? APC, PDP, they would have been trounced. They said and brag publicly on these streets, power drunk rogues and their ombud slaves. They said, you had no structure to even win any election. There were some of them who were actually putting money on it, and they said, if all of this Yoariwo should give should get you 500,000 votes, they should declare Obi winner. Ladies and gentlemen, it became a tug of war. The structure they were talking about became the structure of criminality, structure of violence, thuggery, eh, structure of eh, ethnic division. Eh? Structure of religious division. Do anything to win election. Eh? Is the structure they are talking about. Despite all of that, Baba, they still got roused and beaten. If you are saying, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. You are the one who don't know what you are talking about. See, I was expecting that at least I neck somehow, somehow, whatever they are keeping. Uh, Tifnumbu and whatever they are keeping that is giving them the confidence to carry out this eh, dangerous haste, robbery, on the country of 200 million people. Maybe they will shock all of us in their tribunal. I told you that. I said, the drama in their tribunal is that a lot of things will come to light. And some of the things as well, you will get to see the position of rogues who will call themselves lawyers that will want to legitimate criminality in a country that is as lawless as uh, Somalia. So will you, all of that will give you that picture. So you will know those behind the doom of Nigeria. Eh? 
and those who are trying and struggling to say they want to save it, especially from APC. But last, last, eh? Nah, we don't really see any shock other than they have no, no proof out if number one election. Can you believe that? I mean, what should be the proof? The organization is the, uh, sorry, the uh, government uh, umpire, or should I say the umpire, INEC, that conducted the election. They have all the raw data, don't they? Should they not have them? Eh? I mean, if you say what INEC declared is a lie, right? That means you have something to disprove whatever INEC declared. Now, INEC will now come out and say, look, look, this is what we declared. Baba, don't let me go uh, task on this. Here you deal with me. In the last, I mean, when they said they wanted to start their tribunal, initially, they allocated time to all of them. Okay? Obi, Atiku, uh, this other one from uh, PRP, PRPM, whatever. So they will present their own petition. They will defend that petition. They will present witnesses, present evidence of how INEC rigged the election. They will follow the law. Out if Numbu is this, you know what I mean? Anyway, they did all of that. And when it was the turn of INEC and Tifnumbu, which started supposedly three days ago, three days ago was the time for INEC and Tifnumbu to come and shock all of us when you understand politics, when you understand Nigeria, how things work, who are just social media noisemakers. Are you with me? But guess what? INEC came, presented one witness to, to face a PDP, presented one witness to face a Peter Obi, right? And they closed their case. That's the end. Now, Today was supposed to be the turn of uh, Angono. Yeah, today was supposed to be the turn of uh, Tifnumbu APC to start their own 10 days cross examination, presenting this and that. Something to just say this is what INEC gave us, this is what we also have. And indeed, Baba, i tell you what happened. Remember that during the tribunal, no tribunal, eh? The uh, PDP witness came and said, Peter Obi also rigged Atiku in southern Nigeria, that they have evidence of where Labour Party, Peter Obi, used INEC, used police to rig election and change figure. Remember that part, Abi? Uh, Tifnumbu and Co, they were latching on that to say, hey, now, Peter Obi got 98%. He got this, he got 93%. And all that stuff, eh? <clears throat> so in their court, they didn't present anything where Peter Obi rigged. They didn't even raise anything like rigging. Okay? Rather, they relied solely on one witness and one evidence. And that evidence is, I mean, that witness is this guy. Bami Dele, Okwe Yemi Bami Dele, that became the Nigeria Senate uh, Majority Leader, a leader of the House of Nigeria Senate, serving that purpose, I mean, serving that slot as dictated by Kolu. Now, Okwe Yemi Bami Dele, who is the star witness and the only witness called by Tifnumbu, when, when he took the stand, Eh? Well, he acknowledged himself as a, a Christian, sworn by the Bible, and then the lies started. He said he has known Tifnubu for 35 years. Therefore, he was in a better position. And also he said he was a lawyer. I mean, he's, he was a lawyer in the American Bar, like Nigerian Bar Association. So American Bar, whatever, which is not true. Okay. Okwe Yemiba immediately came to the UK as a refugee, claimed that he was running away from uh, the dictator in Nigeria. That was Abacha. Okwe Yemiba Midele, the former SUG kind of a student union uh, uh, government, I mean, sorry, SUG president, right? 
who then kind of turned to a political activist and then became Tifnumbu's uh, boss, uh, you know, one of his uh, boss on to G's. So he left Nigeria, ran away from Nigeria in the 90s, running from Abacha as a refugee, came to the UK, got an asylum here, got brief of education here as well, never a lawyer in the US. But he's told the court that he was a lawyer. In fact, he knows the U I mean, United States law very much. That was where he entered the trap of Labour Party lawyer. Remember, I'm not going to say this the way they actually present them in their court, okay? This is our own temple, okay? And this is how it actually, it actually went. One star witness and one evidence, okay? The evidence is that even all of this whole thing about Peter Obi and uh, Dati, Obi, I mean, uh, obedient, your movement and everything, just consider it as uh, some sort of exercise, an experience for you. There is actually no base for it at all. According to Tifnumbu, Peter Obi and Dati, they were not even Labour Party member. And according to Nigeria law, eh, now political party, if he presents, it's only political party that can present somebody as a candidate for an election. So all these uh, evidence, all these boxes, everything where you know they bring, is not necessary. Because you are not even Labour Party member. So you know what they did? They presented Labour Party member, I mean, Labour Party uh, membership register for Anambra states, as well as uh, the local government where Peter B comes from, to say the court should throw out everything Peter B is saying. But on the issue of uh, disqualification as, uh, you know, drug lord and then uh, heroin trafficker, which made Tifnumbu to forfeit 460,000 US dollars to the American government. Eh? Okoyemi Bamidele admitted to that today. I'll tell you how that happened. So immediately Okoyemi Bamidele said he, is, uh, he was a lawyer in America. And there is, a, there is a particular code in the American law which is uh, called 9331. I've been a 932. No, 93, I think they said money laundering law, which is uh, what money laundering, whatever code in America, 932. That's not the number. I told you that's not how they, they, they had it. They are like quoting things when they were talking. But this is me in the temple telling you, eh? like role play, kind of. <laughs> you know? So they were like, uh, as a lawyer, in America, you understand this code. They said it's for money laundering. Okay. But that code, I'll pay me to prove that he was a lawyer in America. Said, no, that code is code 932, not 931. Say, you know, matter. But now money laundering, Abi. You say now money law, say hey, it's about money law. But this uh, evidence released by the Chicago court on Tifnubu's heroin trafficking deal and trade, and other people who also went to jail. Eh? You are saying that that money eh, is for money laundry, Abi. Said eh, that money, I mean, that, that, that was because of tax evasion uh, for money laundering laws. Eh? But this thing is not about money laundry, Abi. It's about narcotic trafficking, Abi. Sure, you know, this code is about, eh, but what happened is that it's not about Ashiwaju. Ashiwaju happened to be, eh, you know, somebody they said didn't pay tax. That is why he gave them the 460,000. Now, so the guy can't take him on, no. Labour Party lawyer. Eh? Slowly, but surely, eh? Okwayemi Bamidele removed money laundry from that 460,000 uh, US dollars. And Okwayemi Bamidele finally said, yeah. That's their star witness. So, the, you know, yeah, it is for narcotics. But he was not convicted. There is no conviction. It was just like an agreement according to U.S. law. That is why they had to take that money. He forfeited it. But you agree that it was for narcotic uh, trafficking, heroin trafficking, exactly, precisely. Yes, so uh, that money is for heroin trafficking. That's why he forfeited the money. Thank you very much. Uh, no further question. We will wait for the next witness. Around that time, Nasu Wala starts inside the court. No, be only Wala, comedy. Eh? 
AP, I mean, Tifnumbu's lawyer, Olani Pekun, I think that one is Tifnumbu's lawyer, Adek Besson, Abi Adek Bite, that one is APC lawyer. You see? Tifnumbu's lawyer, Olani Pekun, now rose and said, Livy, you, I mean, the, the, I mean the, we want you to re ask that question. Rephrase that question. He said, No, 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 you are, you are hitting into my time. I've asked my question. That's all we have uh, for that. You know? So, Olani Pekun, at that point, they said, okay, you know what? Uh, Tifnumbu's lawyer, do you have any other witness you want to call? Like any other thing you want to present? Remember, initially, they already said they have some documents to present as evidence. These documents include what they call the Labour Party membership register from Anambra. When uh, Peter Obi became candidate, according to them, he was not a member of the uh, Labour Party. Therefore, there's no point in having this case at all, right? Remember, this particular star witness that uh, Tifnubu relied on and then uh, APC relied on, shitty man relied on, right? Don't they mess up? Oh? Are you with me? The court, the, the, old, the judges they were like, ha. You know, that kind of thing that you have to, uh, you know, you have to admit in an open court that indeed the current interim president of Nigeria eh? is in fact a drug lord, heroin trafficker. In open court, eh, it was like, are you sure you, are, you want to put it that way? No, there is no way out. He had to admit. So Lani Pekun had to step in and stop that. So when the court now asked him, do you have any other witnesses or any other thing? They said, no, my lord, we are closing this case. That is our final. Was, ah, are you sure? Eh? That was when, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the Labour Party lead counsel now said, my Lord, they have nothing to defend. Absolutely nothing. And that is why they want to see, this is their star witness. It's, it's already messed up. Ola Nipekun was like, uh, listen, you cannot be, you know, that kind of exchanges. Like, don't talk like that. Eh? You are the ones who don't have any, any case. Eh? You are not even supposed to be here. If you all know, blah, 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 you know, you know, like that, inside court, oh. And they say, it's okay, it's okay. You know, there are no get case. Nothing. It's all right, Mr. Tifnumbu's lawyer. It's all right. Uh, Mr. Star Witness, Senator. Eh? That's the judge, one of the judges, or the lead judge saying this. He said, I hope this counsel will not one day eh, come and stand in front of you. Is referring to if the Labour Party's, uh, Labour Party's lead counsel should become uh, a ministerial nominee, you know, it will have to go to the Senate to be confirmed. Eh? The way he agreed to the he finally collapsed and dropped the bombshell today. Eh? The judge was like, I hope this lawyer will not end up in your chamber to be cleared. Something like, you know, if Peter Obi is declared and Peter Obi is the president, Abi. And he appoints this lawyer as among, I mean, as one of his uh, ministers. You know, say Okoye Miba Midele as the Senate leader will be sitting down there. Eh? He will likely want to take back his pound of flesh, in which Peter B's lawyer said, "My Lord, I am not tired of what I am doing. What I am doing uh, right now, which means I'm not tired of practicing law. I'm not interested in political appointment." And the old court was like, "Ha ha ha ha!" Like kind of. Eh? Then the next thing, APC lawyer, bring your own evidence so that we can listen to you. Come and defend the petition and all of that. And APC lawyer turned around and he said, Okwa Yemi Ba Midele is also their star witness. Everything he said there is what they agreed to. They don't need to call him back. And they are also closing their case. Ah, the court was like, ah, you know? Then, what about you, shitty man? And uh, the rest, anything? No, that's us. We have closed our case. Ladies and gentlemen, this is when they were like, now what is now going to be the evidence that the tribunal in Nigeria would now rely on to legitimize Stephen Numbu? Having seen everything that actually transpired in their court, okay? Like everything. Eh? The people who claim that Stephen Numbu rigged they have done their best to prove that number one, it does, it's not qualified. It should be disqualified. Number two, it didn't even win. Do you get that now? So they have done their own. 
is the court going to say they don't they don't have enough proof when INEC and the rest of them actually presented nothing like nothing eh or the court is going to say listen we are just going to depend on the technicality that Peter B was not duly eh registered to contest that election like it's now in the open okay yeah it is and this is their worst nightmare ladies and gentlemen what's going to happen if after all of this the court now decided that uh, okay you know what based on the evidence so we are going to order for a rerun election and why the rerun is going to take place eh tifnumbu and shitiman disqualified <coughs> excuse me disqualified how is that going to go down well with uh, the muslim muslim jihadist that use religion to further divide nigeria then turned around and blame the people for how they reacted eh? islamophobia eh? you are using religion you are you are complaining about muslim muslim uh, this eh? what is wrong with you you are dividing nigeria what is muslim this and that you hate in other stuff those who did all of that what are they going to do i asked them first oh. then i'm asking you the obedient too after all this evidence everything Eh? which according to them they believe that the same way they rigged you in your election they will rig you in your judiciary it is as simple as that but somehow they are finding out that uh, it may not actually be as simple as that they are worried too so what's going to be your reaction should i not should i ask you that or not because after all this old evidence thing and all of that they now say i mean sorry uh, obi Atifku, they did not prove anything. INEC did a great job, and this and that delivered. Let me tell you something. This Bamidili also roped uh, Tifnumbu when it comes to the uh, international observers and their reports and all of that. Okwayemi Bamidili admitted, right, that the report of uh, international communities over the time has helped in lean uh, credibility to the elections in nigeria or otherwise because they also invested money in that election to make it at least said okwemi bamdeli said yes i agree that uh, the international communities observers who could go for nigeria election they also help and contribute to give credibility to the election or otherwise so what would you say about uh the I mean the recent uh, I mean sorry 2023 uh, international or foreign observers in the election and their stand and it was like uh, I agree with them. Do you know that uh, the uh, their report indicted the person you are witnessing for and all of that? He couldn't take it back. Do you get that? So because of that, you remember Atifku submitted the same document from that report as well. So they are caught, Abi. So they have to submit the same thing for OB2. Ladies and gentlemen, the trial, or should I say the defense that should have lasted for about 20 days or 10 days rather, eh, lasted for just five hours. If you have to pick the hours they used in two days, just five hours, two hours yesterday, three hours today, and they closed it. So tell me, eh, if they are singing, eh, to fin she bi yoloba ki lo gbojule to fin she bi yoloba simply translate i mean loosely translated as uh, what is that thing that is giving you that confidence that even in the face of uh, imminent uh, defeat and disgrace you are still very much confident eh like buoyant and all of that what is that thing that is giving you that confidence is it the court or is it something else we'll find out oh so you get it is like I have said this before. I've told you before. I said, Tifnumbu, Ainek, and the rest of them, they are not coming to prove anything to anybody. Okay? They are depending on technicality. And that technicality is not going to come from them. It is going to come from those who wanted to come and challenge the election. They will compromise it. Compromise the old document that they will provide. And compromise the entire judiciary as well before you even get there. So, you are actually like having a a fight against the entire system so the fairness in it eh, is completely like not in your favor okay 
And that's exactly what they have done now. So the technicality they are waiting for is whether OB is a member or not. Uh, whether the INEC registered them or, uh, I mean, sorry, Labour Party is this and that. But something is missing, you know. When, I, when uh, APC and Tifnumbu presented the evidence, uh, they call evidence, register, membership register of Labour Party in Anambra, eh, I am I'm kind of so surprised that they did not bring anybody or subpoena anybody from Labour Party in that Anambra to come in as a witness. They did not even bring their star witness, Lamy Diot, a Pampas. I mean, like, it would have been the star witness. In some of their media drama, when they were still, like, you know, when they are still Loju Okman, when they are still very much like the toast of uh, APC, Egbe Kegbe, Lamy Diot, a Pampas, mm, said it and he said that if they have to be this and that, uh, Abure, eh, Abure committed a crime. By making sure that by, by, by falsifying or uh, forging signature to give Peter Obi and Dati the, the waiver that Abure did not consult with other members. Abure collected money and he just gave Peter Obi waivers, forged the signatures of others. Remember, but oh, you know what they say? Obi and his people, they don't, they don't. What's it that they call that? You know, the, uh, the wing. There must be something called the wing. There is wing, eh? Out of the wing, a bird. So somehow, legally, eh? The same APC, that provided money, lawyers, media, eh? For a pampas to fight so that he can actually puncture whatever, whatever they could puncture from Peter Obi. Remember that all the drama. A pampas, they fly private jetty, sleeping inside presidential suits in Abuja, in Oweri. All these places he went that he created that work in River State, Portacol too. A pampas was star until obedient beat him up. I mean, don't let us forget that. They beat him up for Abuja. And from that moment, they beat him up like a thief. There's still a goat in the market. Eh? The self-made Labour Party chairman of APC, La Mediot, Apampas, everything began to, to go down. I think its value started shrinking at the, at, from that moment. But this would have been the start time. Eh? Where you will see Arabambi, La Mediot, a star witness in APC. But I think they now feel like, nah. So, you know what uh, Labour Party uh, lawyer now said? He was like, my lord. There no one commits and destroy their empty case, empty defense. They don't want to destroy and further. That's why they can't bring anybody in. So now what they will have to do is the court is going to tell them when they will meet. Okay? So when they meet, I mean, sorry, when the court gives them that date, but all of them will now come and address the court. Okay? After all of those things, so they will come and speak. They have pages of uh, address they will present, okay? So after that, the judges will now say, we'll give you another day, another date for our judgment. Now, dear, eh, we go see how far more Una go kick the can down the road. Remember, I've told you, Nigeria, any, pro I mean, the problems faced, I mean, that Nigeria is facing right now, they are all man-made. And a lot of them are acting like they could hold Nigeria, still hold them, hold them. But every effort of trying to hold Nigeria together is pointing to one direction. Eh? Nigeria cannot be held together, not in this trajectory. So it's like kicking the can down the road. When you get to the front, you see it again. You kick it again. So you see this particular one that refused to go away Four months after the robbery, eh, Baba, in another maybe maximum of two months now, eh, you begin to use, know that, oh, the judgment is coming tomorrow. And alarm go shaking it, alarm go blow. I don't know if uh, Peter Obi's magic will still work on some of you, on how you insulted, eh, that is going to kind of sound to you when they come out and say there is not enough evidence. 
Mm? I don't know if it's a uh, appeal to you that there is still one more uh, bus stop to stop. It is called Supreme Court. I don't know how many people that is going to go down well with. On the second hand, I don't know how the uh, what do you call them? The Agbadomaiti, the bad, the the the, uh, the bad start. You know that. You know they say na na bad, bad at the start. Instead of a uh, bust, it will now be bad start. Omo, it will be part of the name of or bad idiots. What's going to happen? The people that after they won election, and they were asking people that let us move on, they are still very much uh, in that mood of divisive politics where they still continue to target some say, I mean, they targeted the egos in this political revenge that is non-stop if they can't say hey so be if no we know i in a com completely messed up let's say the judges come back and say surprise all of us including me come and surprise me and they say man Ainek Mahmoud should, should be arrested with immediate effect. He has committed treason. In fact, Tifnumba and his gang, eh, they should make sure they arrest them inside the Asso Rock before they escape. What they did to Nigeria has thrown Nigeria back into 1870. Eh, forceful slavery. In the hand of those who are like you, who look like you, not like different. If you could now come back and say, they must arrest everybody. If you see anybody, well, you know, arrest them. And go and do another election. What are the bad stats to do? What are the bad idiots to say? How is this going to be? Even though they know they, are still have, they still have Supreme Court. Share the quick, quick implosion that they are talking about. Show Masareya, would it come faster than uh, we all expect? You know what I'm saying? Eh? There is no way these things go, eh? That is not going to be a be day. Maybe I, I mean, maybe now nah, we just stay uh, overreact, Sha. I be over, 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 presume, over assume. I don't know, because a lot of you with the tension towards the election at the time. If they rig this election, Nigeria will blow. I know so many of you told me that on my egos they are political. I just had to agree with you. I believe you, sir. I agree. My ego, let me tell you something. I don't believe in Nigeria. But you see this election. You see this election. Uh -huh. My ego, you don't know. See, if they rig this election, Nigeria will blow in 24 hours. Some of you told me that here. I'm not saying I'm not saying you didn't mean it to. I'm just saying, kind of trying to remind you what the tension was like during that uh, dark days those dark days when mahmoud woke up in the middle of the night when some of you were so tired exhausted waiting for results thinking say something eh you know what i mean if they try it how they tried it too it's been over four months too. and i know some of you are also telling me right now my ego no 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 you don't understand wait for that court ha huh, my ego i know what i'm saying if that court, after all the evidence, should try anything, anything, that's it. Listen, I'm not saying that, uh, you know, you won't do that. That's why I'm like, are we over zooming? Because, you know, because at the end of the day, everybody just felt like, you know what? No, we're not going to do it now. We're going to go to court. So if this robbery takes place in court again, they rub it over your face. I know you'll be angry. Ah, my ego, wait for it. You will see what it go happen. You will say, okay. But one thing is that they will tell you, you see, you have Supreme Court. So which means it's going to be like bottled, bottled, bottled anger, bottled frustration, bottled rage. You now won't do what they know they did. They hold you down and say, calm down. Calm down. Wait. On the other side, the bad start, eh? They are saying, try anything. If the court say, can you, can you, can you, if you come out, as soldier, we kill you. We will fight. Can you, can you. you know, that's the reality. That's what everybody is saying right now. So did you now see where my presumption kind of, you know, still makes sense? Sort of, right? Like, both camps, all camps are feeling like anything contrary to the truth. 
Now fight. We'll go tear everything down. So now the judgment come and says, Peter B actually won the election. And he should be sworn in. You know that kind of confusion. At if we wait this second, to go just be like, ah, uh -uh. what about me, my lord? No, 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 you, you know when. Get out of here. Oh, that guy too. That call you. Oh, the two of two of you should hold yourselves. All right. I'm going to the carry on accept the go wherever you want to. Uh, you remember that? Hmm? Seventy years old man. You know, that's not going to be simple. It's not going to be as simple as that. Eh? All these ones that I say, eh, no, no, because you know what I mean. I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying, you know. Or something, that day is going to come. Eh? That day is almost here. They are going to wake up and tell you, this is our decision. Majority of you will know that you were robbed. Kolu didn't win. I believe that Kolu didn't win. Atifku could not even claim that uh, he won. He's asking for a rerun and disqualification of Kolu. So if the judgment now come and they say, in fact, Kolu is duly and legitimately returned and on a one year, they say, ah, wait, 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 the Supreme Court still did there. We now go hold him. But finally, Supreme Court now says, finally, for the sake of national this and technicality and the way of section 45 and 48 of uh, the Nigeria Trashy Constitution and all that, we thereby say, Kolu is a legitimate press idiot. You know, say your anger could not reach here that time. Yeah? You know that kind of thing, say you are so angry. And you you start talking in your sleep. I swear, Lord, I'm going to my mood judge here. In fact, I'm going to my bad judge. I'm going to my judge. I'm going to my AK-47 last summer. I'm going to my DDB last summer. I say, ah, what are you doing? Why are you going to say, Lord, you know? And everything when they talk, it'd be like, say, yeah? Around that time, you know, your, your rage would go down enter here. I don't know if Peter B will be able to say, calm down. I don't know if they would have, because you know something that all of you must admit to. Eh? When you were doing your one million man match, and some people were laughing, and they are like, hey, you. they don't get voters card, do. they don't get PVC, they don't get this and that. Too. Remember that time? Others were like, ah, uh, she be she you this after election. She, are you seeing them doing one million man match anymore? They have abandoned Obi. When they want to make themselves feel good, all of you know that this obedience they are just like everywhere. Let's tell ourselves the truth. In fact, you have made so many people paranoia. They've become paranoid of almost everything. They don't know how to have proper conversation anymore. They don't even want to have it anymore because they believe that uh, anything that looks normal, eh, it makes them look weak. And you obedient, you are everywhere. Once you say, man, this whole thing is so wrong, it's very wrong. Why are they doing things like this? I mean, this and that. They can't engage you. They'll say, uh, you are obedient, Abi. Eh? Are you, uh, why don't you go to Onisha? Why don't you go to uh, Agulu to go and tell Obi to do this? I say, you can't even have a conversation as Nigerians among yourselves anymore. That's how much you have done. Four months after election, it's been a year now. In case if you don't remember, okay, sorry. It's actually been more than that. So the obedient didn't leave Obi. We all know that Atifku people, all these uh, Atikulutas, I see them all the time on social media. A lot of them are beginning to even praise Kolu. A lot of them are beginning to, you know what I mean? A lot of them have actually left Atifku. Sure you get. They are just following this whole thing for, you know? In fact, a lot of them are seeing it will be as a problem. What is his problem? He came thought. Why is he thinking he won? Why blah, blah? You know what I mean? Like, but you will be dead now everywhere. And this is what anybody, everywhere, every corner, everywhere, everywhere. Seriously. You didn't leave him more. And that, Baba, eh, makes me believe that if at the time you get to Supreme Court and they drop the bombshell, 
She will be himself. He tell you, say, make you calm down and wait for 2027. I'm just saying, you know, eh? Man, no oh, to rush, Abi. They go handle them. You get soldiers, police, and all. Of... Okay. Oh. This is Mayegun's diary political. Eh? Mayegun, that is me. Diary is this platform. In your own, if in your own diary, you write in them, Abi. Some of you make tapes for your own diary record, Abi. On Mayegun's diary political, you see, Mayegun, me. Diary, the platform. Eh? Mayegun's diary political. And it is all about politics. I'll keep the record so that uh, we'll have a reference. But on the side, this is what the their lawyers were saying. Before I go to something else, this one. I'm going to. Mm. As to whether the elections were free and fair, called only one witness. Secondly, the second respondent, Tinibu himself, only called one witness, Senator Michael. Bamidele Okbeyemi, who yesterday was elected as a majority leader of the Senate. As to the strength or weakness of his evidence, that will be left to the tribunal. But the important thing is that we did grill him through the furnace of the fire to show that the evidence he gave was not credible and to show that the documents he tendered, particularly the report on the FCT as a symbol of status and as a fountain of unity of the country which they themselves tendered was actually in favor of the petitioners. We were also able to elicit from the witness that Tinubu did not win in his own state, but that he was the only presidential candidate that did not win in his own state. All others won. Natiku won in his own state, Peter Obi won in his own state, and Kwakonso won in his own state. That he did not win there. We were also able to enlist from the witness that of all the presidential candidates since 1999, none except Nebu was in a position that he did not score 25%. All of them scored 25% and over, except Nebu who had 90 points. So in the face of the law, Atifku is mostly asking that Kolu should be disqualified. But then do him again. Okay? It's actually the OB that is saying, declare me the winner. Here is the evidence. Hmm? I'll tell you something. While uh, we're listening to that uh, Ozekome, APC, sorry, uh, Atifku's uh, lawyer, I was reading comments. I guess what? The usual old way of uh, the back then, oh, we call them the Buari Dins, the Buari Diderins, the Buari Dinotus, the Buari Dijatus, Buari Shukus, Ungoziaris, Unnekaharis, sophisticated morons, unboot slaves. Yeah? And the ones abroad, the, the Abroadian uh, Buari Diot, we call those ones Mumu Madus, Bele Lecturers, Mumu Lecturers, then Diagbero, eh? the Yoruba Land B, 